When you're growing plants, you don't want to rely on germination centers or nurseries to provide all of your seedlings. You need to learn how to grow plants from seeds because that will be much cheaper and also it will give you more autonomy as well as control on how and when you, grow, you want to grow your plants. So now there's a problem that I've been faced with. Sometimes I'm in a country where I don't have access to a hydroponic shop, where I can't find the traditional substrate like rock roots, coco core, or clay pebbles. So in these circumstances, what can I do? So what I did is basically I learned how to germinate my seeds in cotton, which is something that you can find everywhere in any shop around the world. There will always be some cotton wool, simple cotton, very cheap. And therefore, that means that wherever you are in the world, you can basically have access to a substrate that at least you know how to use. Of course, when you're, I don't know, in, in, in North America or in Europe, you can use the rock rules and others. But for example, when I travel to Kenya or in Burkina Faso, it's some, sometimes hard to find these. And therefore, the cotton strategy works well. So in this video, I just want to share my process step by step, how I germinate my seeds in the, in the cotton and show you some of the results. All of these plants were grown in cotton and for now it's working pretty well. So the first thing I do is I will grab um, a net cup. So now I'm using two inch net cup. If you don't have access to net cups, you can also uh, take some plastic cups and make holes in them that will do the same thing. Then I will take cotton wool, I will place it in the, in the net cup and I will soak it in tap water. Then I will take my seeds and I will place them on top of the cotton that is already in the net cup. So usually I try to either make a small hole or place the seed in between two cotton balls, but I try not I try to be able to still see the seed so that it doesn't stay stuck in there because one mistake that I did is place it too far in and with a cotton above it and the plant could not get through. So worst case, just place it on top of it, not under a cotton ball. So your seed will be in contact with the soaked cotton and that will help with the germination process because germination is all about soaking in water so that the seed coat can crack and the plant will go out. So once you're done with that, you basically have your seed on top of soaked cotton and the cotton is already in a net cup. Then I will place the net cup in a plate or I don't know, a plastic, a plastic box or whatever uh, surface you have. And I will put a small layer of water at the bottom of that plate, which will basically allow a tr throughout the germination process, the cotton will soak in that water and will stay wet. You don't want the cotton to run dry, otherwise the, the seedling will die. So it's also good once you have set this up. So that's the setup. So you have your net cup on inside the plate with water at the bottom inside the net cup you have cotton and on top of the cotton you have the seed and the cotton has been soaked beforehand and i've been doing that with simple tap water so it's tap water from germany i tested the the tds or ppm i don't know if you know what tds or ppm is it's just basically how much stuff is in the water i have videos on that and yeah so just if you're curious in where i am right now it's 140 ppm for my tap water and yeah, just use tap water, I think wherever you are, that will be fine. Yeah, so that's the setup. And then for the germination process, it's basically you want to keep the layer of water at the bottom of that plate uh, where you placed your net cup. So you want there to always have water, not too much, but just a little so the cotton stay uh, wet. And if possible, uh, place it in a humidity dome. So that's if it's a plastic box that you use, that simply just mean to put the lid on. That's it. Uh, that's it and after like around a week or 10 days oh, the plant will be out of the seed so you will have the plant that will have germinated and as soon as you see the germination you place the seedlings under lights so either artificial lights or uh, natural sunlight because if you don't do that the seedling will become leggy so it will start to stretch and will be like thin and, 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 and skinny and not healthy looking uh, because it's looking for sunlight. So you want to give them plenty of light as soon as they are germinated. So for me, what I've been using is compact fluorescent light for indoor growing. I've been using two of them. Each of them is 1500 lumens. So again, if you don't know what lumens are or how to choose your lights, I've made a video uh, on that, on basically the three, metric, three metrics you want to know to choose lights. 
So it's basically the, the color temperature. So that's kind of like the light spectrum, the lumen. So that's the strength. And then the wattage that, that's for like the, the efficiency of the light. So the color for my com compact fluorescent lights are uh, 6,500 6, kelvins. The strength in lumens is 1,500 lumen each. And I have two bulbs. And the wattage I forgot. It's it's uh it's not very energy consuming, and the wattage doesn't really matter that much once you know the the lumen. You just don't want to be wasting electricity, so it's good if it saves electricity. Yeah, that's it. So now just take that information, go ahead and and put in some practice. That's the only way you will learn, and that's the only way you will become comfortable with that drawing process. First time I did that, it felt super weird, but now it's um, it became basically routine. So. Good luck, hope it helped, and until until the next time, take care and grow up. Well.